I think something overlooked in design is trust. So let me talk about this for a minute here. Is we were playing Left 4 Dead the other day, and we were playing a bunch of old Left 4 Dead campaigns. So they're community-made campaigns. A bunch of them really good. One of them not so good. Uh, and with that, you really realize you either trust the developer or you don't really early on. Now a lot of play, not a lot of developers, even of community maps or their own indie games, will just act like, "Oh, I'm Riot. I'm Valve." People just trust me and they'll go forward no matter what. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like, I mean, there's the classic, like, show me the thing I'm going to use. Have me use it once in a controlled environment. Then have me use it in an uncontrolled environment. That's a way to build trust. But it was also just simply, like, mapping or little puzzles inside. I played, um, what was it? Attica, A-D-A-C-A. -A. Really fun little game. Uh, it's like a nine-hour game. Uh, really early on, it taught me, oh, wait, we understand how puzzles work. And we're going to have you find batteries to put in this thing to unlock like they have a force field doors. But we're gonna have a bunch of batteries. You never have to just find the one battery. And I'm like, okay, that's the rules of this game. I understand that. I trust the developer because the developer is consistent. But like the first campaign we played in Left 4 Dead was this custom campaign where you see a light in the distance, you go to the light, right? That's classic pathing, head towards the light, and it's a dead end. And it's filled with that. So now I don't trust this developer at all. And I'm kind of just angry at this developer. And this developer is not telling me when something is a gauntlet where we have to keep running and turn something off or if we have to stand and hold out. And the language they use of the map wasn't clear. And like all of this stuff they were breaking and we all ended up like, we finished it out of spite. We were joking, it was like work. It was two and a half hours. It wasn't fun, but we were just like, no, we're gonna play this. And I rarely call out like community stuff that way, but like it was just so poorly done that you, just got frustrated even when there were cool parts in it. Like each map had a cool part in it, but you would just get frustrated with all the other stuff around it because it wasn't following the rules. And they didn't have a clear design language. We played another campaign that um, was just like, they had a movie poster in the very beginning and you were in like this dreamlike state. And then you would go in and that was themed for that. Now you give it a lot of latitude all of a sudden because you're like, oh, I get it, I get it. I'm, this one is this kind of ride. And so of course it's gonna be a little weird and goofy and it's gonna be this kind of experience next time. And you just buy into it and you accept it. And you do that because that designer has built the language and a trust with you. And so really early on, you wanna let players know they can trust you. Cause you're gonna eventually wanna take them on some weird stuff, right? You're gonna show them some crazy stuff. You can't start with that because they don't have trust with you. They don't have an understanding of your language. They just don't have that kind of relationship with you yet. So think about having a relationship with the player and think about building that trust with them, right? And so from simple things like with Left 4 Dead, all of the original maps early on have you have all the guns and the health and everything right there. Not later do we play with that. And that's a small thing, but we don't play with that until later because we let you know like, oh, this is different. We're purposely doing something different here. Because we've built this trust with you of this is the normal way to do it. This is what a holdout looks like. This is like we didn't have gauntlets in the first one. We had gauntlets in the second one, right? I don't think we had gauntlets in the first. Uh, but it was just like, okay, but we're going to make the rules really clear about this so that you have an understanding of what's going on. And you have to build that with players. And don't look for really big AAA games because Call of Duty, like, breaks this left and right. This, uh, this I'm still playing. But, like, it breaks it left and right because it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to build trust with you because you are just going to have that trust. You are going to plow through no matter what, right? And so think about that with your design um, and the trust that you can build with a player so that then you can take them into cool places.